Oh, pew, 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 pew. What up? Comes up. Welcome in, Googans. It's after the drill. ATD. 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 I love ATD. Uh, we love you, Googans. Thank you for being so interactive today. Although there was a little bit of negativity in the morning, but uh, it's all right though. Obviously, the conversation dominated today by LeBron James as he passes Michael Jordan on the NBA's all-time scoring list. Uh, Dan, you did the impromptu poll. It was very heavily in favor of Jordan as the GOAT. A little surprised by that, to be honest with you. I was, I was cool. surprised by the margin. Yeah. Uh, I, I was very surprised. Uh, I voted Jordan. I'm a Jordan guy. Okay. You know, but you're splitting hairs. It's not like you're. It's not like LeBron sucks. Right. Yeah, you know, I think people get so. Well, vehement. the other thing is, it, we live in a, a kind of a react now society, and right. LeBron has probably been more criticized this year than even his first year in Miami. Yeah. I mean, even his first year in Miami, he went to the finals, right? They went to the NBA finals. They lost to Dallas, but right. they went. Uh, they went to the finals all four years he was in Miami. Right. He's so here he comes to LA, and they're not. Even, they're not even going to make the playoffs. He's in year sixteen. Uh, he's gotten a lot of criticisms for. Uh, his off-court stuff, and his on-court leadership type stuff. So I, people are probably down on LeBron right now. Like, in other words, if we had done that maybe after game one of the NBA Finals last year, right. when he had that unbelievable 50-point, yeah, and they lost the game because of JR, JR uh, it wouldn't have been 88% to 12%. Correct. Correct. Okay. I agree. I agree. But... I also do think more people think MJ is still the best. I think so, and and I agree that there's a generational split. Uh, you know, I think to a point. I think the guy you witnessed uh-huh. is is the guy who is great to you. Uh, mm. I think there's some truth to that. Uh, got the whole fam watching. I what up? Uh, Deuce is up from Danny. The uh, yeah. On top of that, now we're uh, barreling towards the NFL draft. Yep. Uh, you know, a lot of smoke with that Kyler Murray number one to the Cardinals. Uh, rumor. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if that comes true. There was reports yesterday that teams were inquiring about the availability of Josh Rosen. Th- you know, throwing more gas on that fire. Uh, that you got to remember too that all that information out. right now. There's some misleading there's so stuff much. going out. This so. is this is the misinformation period. Yeah, and that's cool. I mean, it is what it is. NFL teams are trying to you know it's a competitive league and right. they're trying to get any advantage they can. So you know if you have to tell a few white lies, then so be it to try yeah. and get the guys that you want to get free agencies next week. I, I think still that Nick Foles is coming to Jacksonville. I think they'll announce it. Um, what the tampering's Monday? Legal tampering. I think right. they'll. What is I think it, the it'll. Thirteenth that you can officially sign. Yeah, I think it'll get out early. I think it'll get out Monday or Tuesday. I think that they'll bring him to Jacksonville probably if they can, if he's available, probably next Thursday. Introduce him as the new quarterback of the Jags. Yeah, I think that's where we're going. Yeah, that seems to be. It feels like there's too much writing on the wall for that to be. Yeah. Posturing. Yeah. It seems like that's coming. Now, how much he'll be paid, that's another debate. Yeah. Uh, you know, as, as it seems like it's a one... 20 plus, probably 20, 21, 20, 22 million. 20 now, there's other articles uh, uh, 18, going 17, the other way saying yeah. that, that it won't go over 20 because who are you bidding against? Yeah. You know, and that's fair. I guess when you set, you give him an offer and, uh, you know, see what he accepts, uh, I would certainly try to pay him as little as oh. possible. We also don't, you also don't want him to turn you down. Right. <laughs> right. I feel like if you offer him between 18 and 20, that's a competitive offer for a guy who, like we've said, uh, you know, is ultimately a middle-of-the-road quarterback in the league, right? He's like 10 to how did, uh, 16. I mean to ask this. How did, uh, which little Jenner girl's the billionaire? Uh, I think that's Kylie. Kendall or Kylie? Sure. Okay, one of them's a billionaire, one right? One of them's a self-made billionaire. Why isn't the other one a billionaire? I don't know. Maybe she spends it more. Maybe the other one's cheap. Maybe I, maybe the billionaire is like the Jeff of the group, doesn't spend money, and the other one's like Danny, he's very generous, gives money to his friends, could be. and so has not reached the billion-dollar plateau. That could be. I But I, I'm curious about that. <laughs> like, How did one get to be a, a billionaire and the other didn't, and how else do you get to be a billionaire at 21? Yeah. Well, self-made. She grinded, man. Yeah, she grinded yeah. like a champion. Uh, Matthew asks if we think they'll draft offensive line at seven. I think it's certainly Good. in play. I think uh, line's in play. I think it depends on how they feel about TJ Hawkinson, whether yeah, tight yeah. end's in play. Uh, I like Hawkinson. You like Hawkinson. I know Jeff is not as high as on Hawkinson uh-huh. as a guy at number seven. Uh, you know, I feel like best defender available is still a possibility because yeah. there are very good defenders in this draft. 
uh, where you could get a serious impact guy. And I, I watched uh, I watched this uh, interview yesterday with my new favorite defensive guy, and that would be Eddie Oliver. I was about to ask you about it. I mean, if you're sitting there at 7 and Ed Oliver's there. I love Ed Oliver, and I'll tell you why. I mean, he's a monster. He said, uh, I love horses. <laughs> he's a country. He's a country He's kid. a country guy. He said, Daddy got me a horse. We called it Oreo, and I, I rode that horse, and I had fights with that horse. And let me tell you something. Having to deal with a thousand pound animal is a lot easier than dealing with a three hundred pound man. I don't care about no three hundred pound man. I care about Oreo. It was hilarious. It made me laugh. So Ed anyway. Oliver's and Oliver is a he's a big boy. He's like you said. He's 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 uh, body wise is a clone of Aaron Donald. Clone. Who Aaron Donald right now is you know the 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 it guy defensively yeah. in the league. Yeah. He's defensive player of the year. Was a candidate for MVP. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's he's a superstar. He's not. A huge defensive tackle. He's more no. of a, a big, jacked, built guy who can penetrate. And Ed Oliver, he didn't have huge sack numbers, but man, he got in the backfield a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of QB pressures, a lot of uh, tackles for loss. He got in there and yeah. messed things up a lot. I wouldn't mind Ed Oliver. I'd, no, be, I'd fine be fine with that. I, I don't know. It'll be interesting. You know, if they, they just got to be true to their board and take the best player available, you know? Yeah. Uh, Matthew says he likes Hawkinson or Metcalf at number seven. Uh, not I Metcalf. do not like Metcalf at number seven. We've seen those too many times, dude. Don't fall for that workout stuff. Somebody else said that. Was uh, he a good football player? No, not no. really. I know he got hurt, but still, right. The well, you got to know the severity of the hurt. It's right. a neck. It's a neck, man. Uh, Metcalf. You know, there was the the, the athletic did a mock draft with their B guys. Uh-huh. And they had Oakland taking Metcalf. At number four, oh, and they said, "Oh, you know, after missing out on the opportunity, John Gruden finally gets his Calvin Johnson." And uh, oh, as we Calvin Johnson went second in the year, Oakland took uh, Jakarkis Russell. Yes, uh, Calvin know. Johnson did not have great numbers, but that's because he played at Georgia Tech. Correct. They but never I don't. Threw. I don't view DK Metcalf as Calvin Johnson. No. Calvin Johnson was a slam dunk coming into the draft. Yeah. You knew he's a known commodity. I'd be a little wary. That's all. I'm, saying. I'm. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not on the Metcalf at seven train. I'm nothing against him. I think he'll be a first round pick, and uh, he has all the measurables and put up all the numbers. But uh, not at seven. You know what's great is after next week, <clears throat> the Jags will come out and they'll sign. Let's say they sign Foles and another guy or two. Right. Everything changes. Then, then you'll get more of an idea of what they're going to do in the draft. In other words, right. if they sign an offensive lineman, then you, you don't have a pressing need to take one. At right. Seven. And same if they go in on a tight end. Right. Then, okay. Then well, maybe they're, they're, they're going to take Skirtenberger from duty. Texas A&M in the fifth right. round. Right. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, where does Shaq or any other dominant big man a great question. rank among the greatest? I was, I was talking about They always about leave them Shaq. out, don't they? When we were talking about... You know, we were saying, oh, if you took, you know, 30 guys, you said we got to build a team. Everyone's yeah. available at their peak. Right. You know, and he said, you know, I'm not sure if after Jordan, if I wouldn't take Kareem. And I'm like, for me, and maybe it's generational, I'd be hard-pressed to pass up peak Shaq for peak Kareem. Both are great. But for me, I'd rather have Shaq. Really? Shaq was so dominant. See, and I think, and I, you I know Kareem had a lot more tools. Yeah. He did a lot more things. But, boy, Shaq, I mean, you look at, like, 2000, 2001 Shaq. That was a force. Yeah. Absolute force. Like, and to me, terrifying. to me, you can't get um, better than Wilt. Maybe not. I mean, you can give me Shaq. And right. Numbers-wise, Wilt was a, an animal. You have to understand how great of an athlete Wilt Chamberlain was, too. Right. A, a tremendous athlete. Played for the Globetrotters, yeah. man. He was, uh, yeah, Wilt yeah. Chamberlain was unbelievable. And you know when they talk about dominant bigs who always gets left out of the conversation for some reason? George Mikan. Is, uh, is Bill Russell. Great player. Who was a great player, great number. Went toe to toe with Wilt. Went toe to toe with Wilt and didn't 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 Wilt toe to toe with Wilt. Had better teams, but sure. won. But Wilt, I mean, Bill Russell was a great player. Yes, he great, was. Great, great player. Uh, so yeah, no, the big men deserve their love too, and I get it. They don't get it because it's not as flashy. For some reason, they're like, like in other words, if you if you did your uh, Mount Rushmore, you got Michael. And I think LeBron's on. LeBron's on there. There's two. Yeah, I think I think. But I, 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 I would put Wilt on. Yeah, that's tough. If I was doing a rush more, then you're gonna are you gonna leave Magic off? Are you gonna leave Bird off? Are you gonna leave so hard. Kareem off? Who, I mean, it's so hard. See, my I have three locks because again, you can say what you want about LeBron James, only guy in the history of the league top ten in scoring and assists. Yeah, he's the best passing big man I've ever seen. Unbelievable. So I think if I had a rush more, it'd probably be Jordan, LeBron, Wilton, Magic. Yeah. For me. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but it's it's so debatable. It's so debatable. Would you have had Wilt on if I wasn't here? Like if I wasn't sitting here yapping about Wilt all the time? 
I don't know. Would you have gone maybe? I think I would have gotten to Will eventually. Yeah. There's no disrespect to Will. I know. It's tremendous. I was at Will Chamberlain night in Oakland one glorious day back in uh, 2000. Bro, I'll tell you somebody else that does it. Home number 13 from the rafters at Oracle. You got to give the Big O a lot of play, too. Big O was a star, man. Big O was a machine. So. He averaged a triple double when it wasn't easy. It's hard to come up with four, (laughs) man. It's tough. It's tough. That's that's the debate. It's always a big Mm -hmm. debate. So, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Gugans. What do we got tomorrow on the Freaky program? Freaky Friday. Oh. So, we'll have Freaky Friday poll questions. Those are always fun. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're barreling towards conference tournament play. Gators now playing for their lives. It UN, feels like. UNF plays tonight. UNF plays. Uh, by the way, Jackson won high school hoops yesterday. The other two lost. Right. Uh, Fleming plays tomorrow, by the way. Yep. In uh, state semifinal action, 8A semis. Yep. Uh, tomorrow. So, there's still local teams in play in the high school playoffs. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that as well. Like you said, uh, UNF in action and uh, the Florida Gators. Uh, certainly, much more questions about their tournament life right now than there was, you know, forty-eight hours ago. So, yep, that's where we're at. And Danny, if you go on the Ten Ten XL Twitter feed, you'll see Danny did a great demonstration of how to and how not to handle an end of game situation. I like thought I did. Perfect. Kayvon Allen did yesterday. It's worth a view. I don't think it's that hard. He's shaking, baked it, man. They're tremendous moves. Silky. The ball went in. Silky. The ball went in both times. He's money. Money players make money shots, Googans. Thank you, Googans. Never forget. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Send money. Toodles.